Hennepin County Medical Center is a large uh, hospital in the center of Minneapolis that houses an adult and pediatric level one trauma center and serves a diverse um, group of patients in terms of race, ethnicity, socioeconomic status and provides a rich training environment and clinical experience. Our division really has three aspects to our mission. Those are clinical care, teaching, and research. Hennepin County Medical Center has a very rich history in regards to kidney disease. We performed the first kidney transplant in Minnesota in 1963, and the first dialysis treatment was performed here in 1965. We have some other notable uh, achievements here, including the first kidney donor nephrectomy that was performed by Drs. Odlin and Nye. We actually transplanted the first hepatitis C positive kidney in the state of Minnesota. It's opened up a chance for many other patients to be able to do the same thing and get a hepatitis C positive kidney and actually stay off dialysis longer. I had been on the dialysis for five years. How I met Dr. Wang, I came for a follow-up appointment and he told me, well, you're probably facing another two-year wait. And then he started to talk to me about the possibility of accepting a kidney that had been infected with hepatitis C. And with the advent of these new hepatitis C medicines they have that are 98% effective, that appealed to me. And probably within six weeks of accepting that and going on that new list, I was called to get a kidney transplant. And now that I've got it, the hepatitis C is out of my bloodstream already, and uh, I'm happy. The faculty in the Division of Nephrology are affiliated with the University of Minnesota, but Hennepin County Medical Center has its own a dedicated internal medicine residency and nephrology fellowship. We are a very unique center uh, for training in nephrology in that we are a county hospital uh, with a strong relationship with a VA medical center uh, and not university-based, uh, yet we take fellows every year and train them in nephrology to be excellent both uh, community nephrologists as well as nephrologists that can be uh, clinical researchers uh, and physician scientists in the future. We have always focused on innovation at Hennepin uh, in education. And we've been looking at ways to uh, use uh, social media, use ultrasound, um, simulation, to augment the educational experiences uh, of our fellows. Um, so they're getting really a training that is part of the 21st century uh, training in nephrology. What we also have here is an amazing infrastructure for research. And the Chronic Disease Research Group, although it focuses on many different chronic diseases, it was actually established by kidney researchers and still maintains a focus on kidney disease. In fact, CDRG houses um, two multi-million dollar national contracts and administers two national renal registries. First is the Scientific Registry of Transplant Recipients, and the second is the United States Renal Data System. These are both national registries that track the epidemiology of uh, kidney disease, patients with chronic kidney disease, patients on dialysis, and patients who've received kidney transplants. The SRTR provides uh, analytic support to the Oregon Procurement and Transplantation Network. Uh, they maintain approximately 25 committees that are charged with developing organ allocation policies for the United States. So when those policies need uh, data to make data-driven decisions uh, for organ allocation policies, our team provides those analyses and our team of uh, biostatisticians, epidemiologists, project managers, and clinicians and surgeons uh, will perform those analyses and present that work to the committee so that they can make informed decisions about organ allocation policy. I do research using data from the Scientific Registry of Transplant Recipients on kidney transplant candidates and recipients to help create tools that patients and providers can use at the point of care. Some of the tools that we've created are calculators. We wanted to help them use that information to make better decisions and so we embedded the calculator within a decision tool that helps patients understand what choices they actually are faced with. So whether or not to pursue living donation, the pros and cons, whether or not to accept an increased infectious risk kidney, and what that means. CDRG also works with industry, uh, biotech and pharma companies, on projects that um, serve a need uh, for some of their products, but also we try to do projects collaboratively with them 
that have some public health impact. We present all of our work at national meetings and we, we publish everything we do and um, I believe our work has actually changed care for patients.